Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016. And I'm delighted to be joined by Wissam Luta, CEO of Smart Dubai Government. We've heard that Dubai has had smart e-government services for many years, but you're responsible for scaling those up. Yes, actually, uh, uh, in Dubai, we've started our journey uh, in transforming the government over 16 years ago with the launch of uh, the e-government initiative back in the year 2000. And uh, since then, we've also, uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum also has launched the Smart Government Initiative back in 2013. Uh, but we've realized uh, a few years back that it's not enough just to transform the government, that it's important to bring all the stakeholders together. Uh, and this was the uh, when His Highness launched the uh, Smart Dubai Initiative uh, in 2014. So we're looking now to take some of the uh, best practices, some of the successes that we've had with uh, government services, and scale those out to the entire city, uh, bringing in uh, enabling components such as digital identity, uh, payment, uh, digital payment across the city, and uh, providing platforms that allows uh, not only the government, but public sector, but the private sector to exchange data and improve the uh, experience in the city and provide seamless services for both the visitors and uh, residents and citizens of Dubai. Because it's really about taking a customer-centered approach. Exactly. That's what we have, uh, our vision in, in uh, Smart Dubai is to become the uh, uh, happiest and smartest city uh, in the world. And uh, we can't do this uh, uh, on our own. We must bring in the feedback and the input of our customers. So we take a customer-centered uh, approach in uh, not only designing applications and uh, uh, software, but actually the uh, designing government uh, services from the perspective of the customer. Uh, we don't only uh, categorize uh, our uh, customers in different segments, but we look at to personalize the, the service for each individual. So uh, we adopt the concept of a segment of one. Very interesting. And also, you, of course, you were saying you were the technology arm of Smart Dubai, and you have a Smart Dubai platform. Yes, uh, we are the t technology arm of Smart Dubai. Our uh, mission is to uh, provide world-class uh, infrastructure and services for to create happiness in the city. And as part of our uh, uh, in Smart Dubai initiative, we are uh, we have designed and uh, currently building what we call the Smart uh, Dubai platform. So this this platform is uh, is sort of the digital backbone of the city, bringing in uh, not only connectivity uh, in the city but also bringing in data from uh, the government entities uh, and the private sector into a, a single platform where new services and new uh, applications will be provided. Uh, not just by the public sector, but also by the private sector. Because you mentioned data there, and I understand that you've adopted a new data law. Yes, exactly. His Highness uh, Sheikh Mohammed uh, decreed a new law in, in Dubai uh, in October of 2015. Uh, we call it the Dubai uh, Data Law. Uh, it's a very ambitious and uh, comprehensive uh, uh, program for opening up and sharing data, not just with the public, but also among government entities with, with the idea of promoting transparency, improving government services, improving efficiency, improving decision making, and uh, doing this um, while also uh, becoming a catalyst for innovation and creativity, and uh, doing it while uh, still preserving the privacy, uh, intellectual property, and confidentiality of information. As you were saying, it's all about making sure that the people of Dubai and the visitors of Dubai are happy. So can you give us a sneak preview? What sort of things can the visitors and the residents look forward to in the future in Smart Dubai? So we, we are looking to have a seamless experience in, in the city, really raising the, the quality of life for the visitors and uh, the residents of Dubai, providing world-class uh, services that are seamless, integrated in our daily life. And this will uh, definitely have impact on the environment, reducing uh, traffic, reducing carbon footprint, 
not having to come and visit uh, the government and being able to transact, uh, start a company, uh, renew, renew your driver's license from anywhere in the world uh, uh, very seamlessly and very easily. Wissam Luta, CEO of Smart Dubai Government, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you indeed. And do please tune in to the ITU YouTube channel where you can hear many interviews with experts at the WISIS Forum 2016.